guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a Q&A which I have been planning to do for a couple of weeks so if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram you've probably seen this splashed across social media um, me asking you to ask me questions so I didn't think that I'd get asked as many as I have done I've been asked a total of 61 so I'm going to be splitting this Q&A into two separate videos so you'll be having one half of this Q&A today and then on Monday or Tuesday you'll be having the second half. So I'm going to start off with the first question that I received which is from Taycat2015 on Twitter and they asked me whether I prefer skydiving or scuba diving and the answer to that would probably be neither but if I had to choose I would choose scuba diving as you're more in control and it's just a lot nicer than jumping out of a plane I should imagine. So yeah, definitely scuba diving. Then Zoe Franklin on Instagram asked me, um, MAC makeup or NARS makeup? And I would definitely choose MAC. I've never actually tried NARS makeup, so that's probably why I wouldn't choose NARS. But um, I've always wanted to, so hopefully I will at some point. But yeah, I do love MAC makeup. I think it's really nice. Then um, my next question is from Matt on Facebook, and we actually go to college together, and he asked... How did you do in your exams? Answer without using the words bad, very bad, or extremely bad. And I would probably have to say that I'd done excruciatingly terrible because the ants, like the questions were a lot more difficult than I anticipated, especially in sociology. I know I'm failing science anyway, but I was hoping that I'd pass sociology, but after having the exams, I'm not too confident that I will pass, but fingers crossed that I will. If you could dye your hair any colour, what colour would you dye it? And that is from typical underscore Zalfie on Twitter. If I could dye my hair any colour, I would dye it lilac because I have wanted to for quite a while, but I'm just a bit weary when my hair is so dark brown that I'd have to then bleach that to like, just bleach it and then dye it lilac and I really wouldn't want to do that because then if I regretted it then it's a lot harder to change back to if that makes sense. What is your main or favourite clothing brand and that is from underscore Effie Haywood on Instagram and I would probably have to say River Island. All of my jeans and shoes and jackets are from River Island and then like for dresses I would say Topshop because I just really like Topshop, um, Dorothy Perkins and loose dresses. What is your favourite film? And that is from Full Life Half Moon on Twitter. And I would have to say that my favourite film was Devil Wears Prada. It is just my, probably my all-time favourite and I really, really love it. How do you deal with ghost followers on Instagram? And that is from YouTube all day on Instagram. And if you don't know what a ghost follower is, it is where you have a certain amount of followers and you don't get that many likes on your pictures. So, for example, I have 2,800 followers on Instagram and I only get 100 to 200 likes on my pictures. And it doesn't really bother me that much because I didn't think I'd get that many followers anyway. And I'm putting pictures on there because I want to put them pictures on there, not because I want them to get 2,000 likes. I mean, it would be nice, but I'm not that bothered really. Where do you live? And that is from Angie C 8420 on Twitter. I live in Eastbourne. I moved here two years ago in June. And yeah, I don't like it that much. I much prefer London. That is why I'm every time I get a chance to go to London I totally go there. But um yeah, I live in Eastbourne. Favourite thing about being a blogger and YouTuber and that is from Jasmine123 underscore 123 on Twitter and my favourite thing would probably be getting really sweet messages and I've actually been getting quite a few recently. Um, messages like um, when people say your videos really do make my day and they make me smile and things like that, that really does make me happy and then that just shows that everything that I'm doing is actually worthwhile instead of just uploading articles, getting no feedback or response, it's really nice to get those messages because it does just make everything feel worthwhile. Um, Gossip Girls on Instagram asked, does anybody inspire my fashion sense? And I would actually say Helen Anderson, a fashion blogger and YouTuber, she does inspire my fashion sense quite a bit. But other than that, I would actually say that I just wear pretty much anything that I want to wear, anything that I've seen in the catwalks, things like that. Um, like take, uh, for example, suede coats were really um, big in the Burberry catwalk in, I think it was September. And um, then... My mum was having a browse on eBay and we found a suede jacket from River Island 
and yeah just things like that just what is going on really does inspire how i dress really what is your favourite thing about summer? And this is from Full Life Half Moon on Twitter. Um, my favourite thing about summer would probably be the heat and being able to wear dresses all of the time. If you wasn't a YouTuber, what would you be? And this is from Erin Johnson Kiss Kiss on Instagram. I wouldn't actually class myself as a YouTuber as such. Um, but if I wasn't filming videos every weekend and um, uploading blog posts and things like that, I wouldn't really be doing much um, else really. It would probably be quite boring and yeah i don't really know have you ever met any of your idols or inspirations and that is from leah 1243 on twitter and i've briefly met Connor maynard at one of his concerts but other than that i haven't really met anyone famous as such i don't think what is your middle name and that is from angie c 8420 on twitter my middle name is rose it's not actually an official middle name I just sort of gave it to myself when I was younger and then it's just sort of stuck really. Amy Louise 96 on Instagram says, where do you see yourself in five years time? I would like to see myself um, as a fashion journalist for a really established fashion magazine or maybe even an editor, something like that. That would be really good, but I doubt it. If you were to date a YouTuber, who would it be? And that is from marshmallow underscore bear underscore zero four X on Instagram. I don't really watch any like male YouTubers on YouTube, but I have watched a couple of Joe Suggs videos, so I would say him, although I don't really know because I don't really watch YouTubers that much. If you were to choose a pill that, you, that would take or transport you either to the past or the future, what would you choose? And that is from Litsu Hemmings on Twitter. And, oh, I don't know, I'd probably go to the past and then I would do a lot of things differently and then I would know what's coming in a way, if that makes sense. Your favourite drink from Starbucks and that is from Random Simmer underscore on Twitter and I actually haven't been to Starbucks that much and the only time that I did go, well I think I've been a couple of times, I've had either a coffee or a hot chocolate and then I did have one frappe which was a mocha and that was really nice so I'll just say a mocha frappe. Black or Rimmel makeup and that is from... Amirad or Amirad underscore one on Instagram and I would say Mac I don't really own that much Rimmel I do own a Kate Moss mascara and I don't think it's that great so I would definitely have to say Mac Elk is the best 21 on Twitter asked what is your favorite musical and my favorite musical would probably have to be um either The Lion King or Grease something like that do you have or want any piercings? Asked Molly Tordoff on Instagram. I have my nose pierced. I also have my ears pierced. I did have my second hole pierced and then I did have a third hole here pierced, but then I let them ones close up. What is your favourite naked palette? I actually have never owned a naked palette, although I've wanted to. They're just very, very expensive and I think you can get a lot, like eyeshadows of the same standard, in like makeup revolution and things like that so i don't know the they all look really nice and i wouldn't mind trying them but they're just a bit expensive really tara anastasia on instagram asked what my dream handbag is and i would probably have to say either a mulberry bays water or maybe a hermes bag i own two louis vuittons which i'm really lucky like to own because I really wanted them for ages and then last year I was lucky enough to get two so that was amazing but yeah I'd say a Mulberry or a Hermes or actually an Anya Hind March bag would be absolutely perfect I love her bags so much Johnny Dalton on Twitter asked what was the last thing I copied and pasted Let's see what I copied and pasted on my phone it was a tracking code for um because I'm getting sent this tea to reveal my blog. So it's a tracking code. Yeah. How old am I? Asked by Anne GC8420. I am 17 and I will be 18 in September. Pointless Emily on Instagram asked what my favourite makeup palette is. I would have to say the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in, I think it's Golden Sugar, is a really great palette. And I'm wearing it today to contour and blush and highlight and it's really, really good and I love that. Weekly Doxa and Angie C8420 asked on Twitter what my favourite colour is. And overall I would say pink. For my lips I would say 
red um, for, I don't know what else really, to wear I would probably say grey, but yeah my overall favourite colour would be pink. Weekly Docs are asked what my favourite food is, and I would probably say um, either pizza or chocolate. <laughs> Loza321 on Instagram asked what my fashion style is. I wouldn't really know. I like to hope it's a bit classy, but yeah, I don't really know. I would say that. Yeah. If you could go anywhere in the world, which countries would you visit and why? From Kagiland on Twitter. I would really like to revisit Dubai and I would also really love to visit New York. Epic Wolf Girl on Twitter asked what my favourite animal is and I would definitely have to say cats. I absolutely love cats so, so much. And then Claire McIntosh on Instagram asked what my top five summer essentials would be and I would definitely have to say um, Mac. Um, face and body foundation as it's really like fluid and lucid and just really really nice texture for summer and quite dewy um, definitely a pink lipstick um, I don't know definitely dresses definitely an iPod and definitely a good book they're definitely my top five summer essentials so thank you so much for watching my first part of my questions and answers video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also comment below just anything really because I really love receiving your comments. Um, yeah, I also will subscribe back to you if you comment below saying you subscribe to me. And I will do sub for sub as well. Thank you so much for 300 subscribers. I'm so happy that I finally reached 300. And... Yeah, just thank you so much for watching, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all very very shortly with the second part of this questions and answers video. So thanks for watching, I hope you have a fabulous day and I shall see you very soon. Bye!